Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, welcome to the live stream. Yes, so today I'm starting a little bit earlier. It's like um five minutes to afternoon. I just wanted I just wanted to uh, just to be here. I was very anxious to see you guys. So anyway, guys, welcome uh, to my channel. Welcome to my live stream. I'm gonna wait for a few of you to come uh, to come by uh, because I'm gonna need uh, to know uh, whether or not you are receiving the signal. Uh, uh, okay, I just want to make sure that I don't, I'm not getting like any like uh, you're not listening to the uh, to the voice or maybe uh, the image is coming kind of blurry. So I just I'm just gonna wait in here for you guys to come by. So hi, I have one like, I have nine viewers. Hi everyone, welcome. Uh, if you can say hello on the live stream, hi, BH, how are you? Welcome. So yes, I'm very happy to be here. I'm glad that you guys could make it today Sunday. Uh, total meltdown hi net d uh yes welcome 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 okay so let's see uh i have seven nights uh -huh. how many people are here uh seven people hasheling welcome i'm so excited you know i have so much stuff to show you today guys it's, so today's be uh today's uh, live stream is going to be all about uh taking photograph of your candles or your candle vessels or whatever kind of um you know, product photography, um, you may have in mind, you know, for your website, for Instagram, for us uh, on any, any type of social media, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, instead of paying a photographer, why not do it yourself? You know, like, uh, like I'm, I'm doing myself, you know, I'm learning my, as I go, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos from a lot of experts and I just take a little bit from one, a little bit from the other one. And I just try to practice, you know, uh, the main, uh, equipment that you may need guys is very important. Uh, because if you're not taking uh, photographs outside using natural light, you're gonna need uh, good lighting. And to me, the, the best lighting equipment that you could have is this. This is my best friend, guys. Let me tell you. So I got this. You saw this on the video that I posted this week. You know, it's, I got this from BNH Photo, but there are so many versions of this. Uh, they call it ring lights, you know? And the reason why I love this so much and it has a very long cord. Uh, it's 18 inches diameter. It's very easy to use. It's very light. You know, that's one, that's another thing that I like, you know? That it's very light. Also, you can put in here um, two batteries. So in case you wanna take this outside, if you don't have a, a power outlet, you can put batteries. Of course, that's optional. And it's also so easy to use. Just hit the switch in here, press in here, and the light comes on. Okay, and then you can change the temperature. It has some kind of a attachment in here that you change the temperature. Let's see. You have to play with this. It goes to warm. It goes to uh, another, come on. You know how live TV is? It's the same in here. Okay, you see? Now it's getting warmer. Let's see. Okay, let's see if I, can, if I can get it right. Anyway, just, just play with the settings. It goes uh, into warmer warmer colors, you know, like an orangey type. That's the kind of light that I have in here on my side. Let me see if I can show you. So this is what I call a warmer light. It's kind of orangey, you know, that's another panel that I have in here. And so yeah. So how are you all doing? Hi, Mirna, how are you? Hi, Nate, the soap maker, A21, welcome. Mary Spencer, welcome, BH. Uh, BH, uh, what, what's your name? R. Luca, hi, R. Luca. Um, hi, Melonis. Okay, so guys, I have the camera. I'm using the uh, my cell phone as as the webcam, so I have the cell phone here and then I have the computer here, so I have to keep going back and forth for me to read your comments. Okay, uh, Ned, 
Oh, neat. Uh, the, okay, so, you know, just get yourself a ring light. You know, it's, it's the best thing you can do. You know, also, I don't know if you saw my last, my last video. I went to Hobby Lobby for the first time, guys, and I've never been to Hobby Lobby before, and I was so impressed. I was like, I, I was like a kid on a candy store. I went crazy, guys. I bought so much stuff. You know, it's like, uh, I went crazy. The store is huge. Uh, you know, I, so I concentrated uh, in getting props and getting backgrounds. You know, hi, Felicity, Placey. Okay, so I got a lot of the backgrounds, guys, and I'm gonna show you also a few pictures that I took, that I posted on the video also, but I wanna uh, show you the backgrounds first that I got. So I got uh, this background. It looks like a uh, very sophisticated background, guys. It's amazing. I pay $7.99, and this is considered a yard. You know, it's hard to in here. It's beautiful. That look at the way it reflects the light. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? The texture that it gives. It's amazing, guys. This for uh, as a background, you know. You know what I like to do, guys, with this material. I like to go like this. Ah! <laughs> so I'm so I can see whether or not it's it looks good as a background or not. So I go like this, you know. So yeah. <laughs> so this is one of the backgrounds that I got. It's very heavy, so you don't have to iron this. You know, I got all the materials that I need to use a steamer to get the wrinkles out. And the way I store these guys is I fold it like this, and I just put it on a hanger, because why not? Then I have another one in here. This one I got at Michael's. I'm gonna be putting the pieces in here. This one I got at Michael's. Guys, I have to show you these backgrounds because I'm so happy, you know, and just to show you the different vibes that you can get from the different materials, you know. That's why uh, the topic today is all about photography, you know, backgrounds, lighting. Look at this beautiful, look at this. This one you have to iron because it's very thin. It has like stars and it has like a, like a holographic effect. I don't know if you can see it, you know, in, in camera. So again, this is, a, this is a yard. Look how much, again, la, la. <laughs> it's all about having fun, you know, it's a why not. So, you know, you know, you know me guys right now, you know, you know my channel is different. I like to have fun. I don't like to be like a strict channel like teach, teaches you how to do things, you know. I, I like to be wild, flamboyant, and you know, I'm learning at the same time. Why not? Life is too short to be too serious, you know. So, you know, just have fun and do what you love and the hell with the people. If they don't like it, they don't have to watch. Okay, I have another. I wanna show you all the backgrounds first because I love them so much. Okay, this one is, I think it's my favorite one. It looks like real leather, guys. Look at this. And this is vinyl, this is not leather, you know? But look at the texture. Look at the texture. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. Again, I'm gonna go like this. Ah! <laughs> I love this. And you know what, guys? This goes great with the candle that I took pictures of this. Look at the, the, the contrast that you get using this piece of uh, vinyl. Beautiful. And it looks real, yes. $7.99. It was 50% off the material at uh, Hobby Lobby. You know, perfect. Then let me show you the next one. Okay, I got this different one from Michael's. They're basically the same finish, you know. Uh, I'm gonna show you the one that I like the most, which is uh, the Magenta, you know, which is the more masculine one, like me. Yes. <laughs> So look guys, 
this is amazing. I saw this material and I felt, and I, just, I started screaming when I saw it on the store. Look at this. Look at that, guys. Look at the effect. Look at when the when the light hits it. You know, you see? look at this. Hi, are we feeling the vibe? Yes. Look, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is gonna make beautiful candle. Again, let me just look at this. Isn't that a great contrast too? Yes. Seven ninety nine in the yard. You know, so I'm, I'm just showing you this, all the different options that you have. I mean, I went to the fabric store and I just, I just wanted to get everything, you know, so. And then all you have to do is just fold them like this and put them in hangers and just put them in your closet. You know, uh, guys, forgive the noise outside. Someone, uh, someone is born alone outside. There's nothing I can do about that. Okay, my favorite ones. Are the velvets because you know me? Look at these guys. Yes, this is the color of passion and love. Yes, again, let me show you the contrast. Look how beautiful, guys. Great choice, and look at the way it's alive, you know, the different folds, you know. It's like very, very luxurious. Yes, very christmas league, very rich christmas league. Look. look, hi, Felicity Jane. Welcome for United Kingdom. Is this, is this your first time here? Okay, and the other velvet that I got, this is very regal. You know, it doesn't get any more, doesn't get any more gay like this than this. Ta -da! Look how beautiful, guys. Again, it looks great on me, huh? Eh? Yes. And this is the contrast. Look at this. Look how beautiful, guys. You know, if you're in doubt, if you're in doubt, do like a, like I did. I took the, the vessel with me to the store and I put it in against the material. So I picked the ones that I think will look the best. And that way you don't have to spend money in something that is not gonna work on your project. You know, take the profit with you, you know, it's a why not. And then you can see which one looks uh, the best. So, okay, so enough from backgrounds. Okay, let's see what I have to show you guys. So I also bought uh, these beautiful flowers. Let's see if you can see them. You know, I'm not a fan of fake flowers, you know, but being that I was just looking at them and I just said, you know, my, they look so real. So, um, so I decided to get a few of them. And the gorgeous, the colors, look at this. Uh, yes, Cheryl, I'm gonna be using I'm also going to be using the 16, uh, 16, 17 vessels. This one. These are the ones I'm going to be using for my for my candle line. But I just wanted to get a variety, you know. Uh, like this one is, is beautiful. This one I'm going to sell. Oh my God, this one is amazing. Okay, so you know, so I just want to I just want to play around with, with the different options, being that I have uh, time to. Uh, I'm waiting for my for my trademark to get approved, guys. So I'm just I'm just branching out and see what all the options I can have for my candle line, you know. So I'm using this time while I wait for my trademark to get approved. I'm just branching out into different fields, you know. So I say, why not? And see, do I really want to go with this, you know, only, or do I want to have different kind of vessels? So that's what I'm doing right now. So yeah, so I got this beautiful combination, guys, and you know, it's like. You don't have to use the whole thing. You can just cut a, a, a little, you know, little pieces of these and just use them on your background. Beautiful, you know, and everything 50% off. And yeah. Guys, do you have any questions for me so far regarding backgrounds, uh, 
the ring lights and uh, stuff that the way you take photography, you know, uh, let me know. Uh, I like to, I like to take photographies outdoors, uh, but being that the weather in Portland is very cold and uh, uh, the flowers are trying to uh, to sprout and yeah, hold on, let me just take some water. The, the garden, the garden is not ready yet. You know, I like to wait until I got all the gardens set, uh, set up, all the flowers blooming. You know, and to take pictures outside because there's nothing like natural light when it comes to photography. You know, uh, so in the meantime, I'll just um, do, do it indoors. And like I show you in the video, guys. You know, let me just put this down. I can show you. You know, like I have this ledge in here. This, that ledge. Let me just move the candle. I like to use this latch in here to put the cups, you know, and to put stuff in here. So I discovered that I can use this now. I use this, these clips that you use to close the uh, potato chip bags. You know, so I, I use this to secure the, the material. Let me show you. Okay, so let's say I'm gonna, I need a background to put something, you know? So let's say, uh, let's say I'm gonna use this just for the hell of it. So I'm having here they are. I'll just like this. Take it from here. Okay, and of course, I have light. I have the light in the back. I was planning to use them. Uh, so just take and make it like a ruffle on here like this to give it texture. Sorry for that. To give it texture, guys, you know, just go like this and just ruffle the material so it gives texture, you know? And then you just put the stuff in there. You know, the vessels in here. And you see? Do you see how beautiful it looks? It looks very, it looks very professional. I'm gonna leave it there for now. Okay, so Mina, are you considering other types of vessels? Well, you know what happened? I bought this, I bought a lot of these, so I'm gonna have to use them. So that's why I'm focusing more on these two, you know? So I got like a hundred of these and I have a hundred of the of these black ones in here. So I'm gonna start with those because I already spent the money and you know so I need to really see how they how well they'll do. So yeah. Which supplier okay, Milner is asking me which which supplier have you finally considered on for my gardenia scent? Uh, it's it's a combination uh, of gardenias that I'm using. I'm using a combination of candles and supplies, I'm using uh Candle signs, and I'm also using a uh, flaming candle. So those three different uh, suppliers I'm using for my gardenia candle because I have a special formula that I'm using three different oils. Yeah, and that's how you make your uh, unique scent. I noticed that the gardenia tuberose from Candle Science has a, a little pungent uh, smell. It comes from the lemon in it, and I don't. I'm not too happy about that. So that's why I want to try different different companies. You know, so because yeah. Okay, another st another stuff that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby, guys. It's you know when you when you create a background, it's good to have different heights, you know, to put your stuff on it. So I bought these boxes. You know, it's like three different boxes in here. So so you have three different sizes. So you know, so you can practice. You know, either you can put them in here like this, 
or you can put the, the largest one in here like that. If you want to, you know, it's all, it all depends on, on, on the vibe that you're looking for. I put it like this, or this is what I like to do. I like to put it on, I, I like to put it on the, the material. So try all the options, you know, why not? It's all about playing and finding out what works best. So you can just take the box and just put it inside. So this way you can, you create a, a different vibe, you know, this one you can elevate more, you know, and then you can just pull in here like this, you know, and then you can put the other ones. Like that. Okay, you see the, the different effects that you get? So, yeah, just, just play with different, uh, with different uh, configurations, you know? It's, and this is what I did, guys, for this, for this particular, uh, for, for this particular uh, background, I used these flowers in here. Let me show you. So I use the flowers, I use this, the dry flowers. And I use a yellow one. Let me, let me see if I can find the piece in here that I use. Okay. So I use this. Again, try to work on uh, uh, with odd numbers. Always try to work on like on, on threes, you know, or fives or sevens, you know. Um, somehow the eye finds more pleasant when it looks at groups of three. It's all in the mind. So just try placing it in there, you know, just let me see if I can take you closer so you could see. So you see, so just play with this and find the position, you know, that you want to put this in, you know, you can go like this. You know, you can go like that if you want to. Just find something that you like the most, you know, it's... It's all about what you want, you know, to, uh... and the picture, I think that looks look very nice, you know, and I'm going to show you a, a picture of that also, because I did some printouts and let me show you how, how beautiful it looks once we take a picture. So this is a picture of, of the three containers without anything, you know, just like this. And then this is a picture of the containers. Look at the different with, and this is without, but look how beautiful this look. This look very professional. So, I mean, they're both fine, but you know, it's just, just fine. Which everything's gonna be more eye catching, which I think this one will be because as people look on social media on the different websites, uh, they just focus on today. Right away, it goes into the yellow. So that that stop their attention right there, and then they look at the at the different at the beautiful vessels, you know. And I'm telling you guys, like I, this is what I wanted to make this video and this this show today, because uh, you can sell anything, you know. This is not a candle. This is a container, but this could be a candle, you know. So it's the same principle. Okay. So let's see. Anyone new? Hi, Colette. How are you? Welcome. Angels cakes. Hello. Okay. Next, uh, these these boxes that I told you, the ones with paper mache. Where are they? These are amazing. But I'm gonna show you something more amazing. I think these were like three ninety nine, something like that. Three ninety nine. Very cheap. And then I got this. Gets even better. Okay, so I got these ones also. These were $7.99. And you know, they have so many in here, guys. Look at this. Look at all these boxes. 
So you have from the tiniest ones with their tops, and you keep getting bigger. I think they are more than, let me see, nine boxes. So they keep getting bigger, you know, and with the tops in there. So you have different options, you know. So you don't have to spend a fortune on props, you know. You can just put this, you can paint this any color you want. If you want to, you know, I like to leave it in white, you know, why not? And, you know, if you use Photoshop or if you're a fair on Photoshop or any of these uh, photo editing programs, you can change the color of the white to, to whatever color you want. So, yeah. So that's a, great, that's a great option, you know, also. Okay, let's see what else. Perfect photo. Oh, thank you. Okay, so let me show you another photo that I took. Uh, using another background. So this is another one. Look how beautiful. Again, always use groups of three. Okay, this is another one that I took. Look how beautiful with three vessels. And this is using uh, the black background that I showed you with the stars. And I'm gonna show you guys I also got these beautiful stones. Let me see if I can find this somewhere now. Okay, I got these rocks. Okay, here they are. Ta -da! This is very heavy. So I got these rocks. They're glass bit like glass rocks in here. So this one imitates eyes. This was $3.99 for the bag. Let me show you how beautiful they look. Can you see? They look like ice cubes. Look at that. So this is what I have in this picture. As a prop. So, you know, it's... Just think, you know, it's you can you can use a prop anything you want, you know. It's so this is one of the ones that I got of the co one color. Then I got this one in red. You know, this is these are the uh, the rocks that you buy when you to make flower uh, when you get flesh flowers and you get you have like a a clear uh, base. People put it in the bottom to to dress the base. Look how beautiful this one in red. Beautiful. Okay, the next one I got. I got this one, it's like a white marble. You see, it's a beautiful, it looks like marble. Okay. Look at that. And these are the rocks that I use to take this picture. Let me show you. Let me show you the picture that I took using this. Okay. So this is the picture that I use this in here. And for this I use the, the gray one. So you see how it looks very luxurious, you know, very high end, you know, and when you use props like this, you know, the background is beautiful and then you, you make contrast because the main, you have to focus guys on making contrast when you sell your product. If, if you put a, let's say for example, if I use this in here and if I put it in here, you see it disappears. It really disappears, especially with, with the contrast uh, in here, with this in here. So you have to make something like, because you're selling the candle, you're not selling the props. So you have to remember that, you know, always have a plan, you know, what do you want to, what's the story you want to tell the people, you know, it's, so that's very important. Okay, so then I got, I got this beautiful blue one, so also, 
Guys, how how um, how is the sound? Does it sound good? And this is one of my favorite ones, guys. I got this black ones in here. These are epic. It's beautiful. Look at this. And these are two these pictures. Let me show you. You see? So I use this as props for this. It gives interest to the background, you know? Uh, this is without it. And this is with it. So they both work, you know, they look, they both look great, you know? And so, yeah. And one thing that I wanted to tell you guys, I took these pictures using my iPhone. Yes, I have a camera. Let me show you. I have this camera, I've never used it because I don't know how to figure this out. And it's a very plain one. And when I use the manual, um, the, the automatic, I don't like the results. I used, I bought this camera to do my videos. Uh, the problem that I have with this is that the battery only lasts like 20 minutes. Uh, you know, I like to uh, take my time when I do my videos and not be rushed. Uh, so every time that I shot a video with this, I felt like I was always looking at the, at the counter, at, at the battery life. Uh, so I couldn't uh, really concentrate on, on the message that I wanted to give you guys. So that's why I don't use this. You know, it's still in there and I don't know. So yeah, okay, so um, I have another, like I showed you on, on the background that looks like leather. Look how beautiful picture. You see, it looks very rich, the color. So it looks like very high end, you know? Yeah, so guys, yes. Yeah. So, you know, you don't have to, you know, you don't really have to make a huge investment, you know, like I told you again, the lights, just get a ring light. I pay 119 for that, I believe. But you can get the same quality, the same, the same thing on Amazon. Just make sure that you get something that is uh, not smaller than 18 inches. You know, some people try to get this. Some people use this to take the pictures. This doesn't give you any kind of light. You need enough light to uh, give you enough, enough uh, illumination for the whole background, you know? So this, you need a, you know, a bigger light. And also, you know, you can also uh, play with different, you know, light effects, you know? I have this camera here, it's called the uh, Lumina, uh, uh, cube. So this one is a cube that you charge with a uh, USB and then it has like different, no, strong. So it has, it goes from dimmer to, to brightest and then you can just put it on the side, you know, and so you can illuminate one, you know, or you can put it inside in here. So this one has like light coming out of it, you see? Or if you want, you can just put it in back. You know, if you want for an extra uh, halo effect, you know, just put it on the side in here. So that's another effect, you know. So just play with, you know, with different things. It's the same thing if you have a flashlight, you can do the same thing too. You know, it's, again, just play with what you have. You know, I have this because I like to take it uh, when I do selfies, when I go outside also, I like to have an extra, extra illumination. So guys, do you have any questions for me? How you all doing? Have you done any candles? Uh, any kind of recipes that you want me to try? Yes. Okay, I have something else to show you guys. When it comes also to photography, it's very important to have um, some kind of a, how you call it? Something white, so you can throw the light and, and get reflected, like a reflector. So I like to use this foam board like this. You can buy this at Staples, you can buy this at anywhere. You know, it opens up like this. So you can just take the light, you know, and just put it on the side. And then, like you see, you see? 
how their lives reflect from the white when it, when it comes to me. The same thing happens when you put it right here next to the candle and you reflect a light, it pushes the light inside the subject. So this is something good that you, you know you should have. So, so I'm giving you all the tips, tips and tricks of the trade. Again, stuff that is very inexpensive. You don't have to spend a fortune for it, you know. And um, but look how beautiful this is giving me life. Okay, let's see. Guys, I have a few uh a shipment of different fragrance oils that I want to share with you. I'm so happy to to do this because I haven't smelled them yet. And you know me, uh, this is my favorite part of making candles. Uh, it's uh, smelling new fragrance oil. So let me just show them to you. So this shipment came from New York Saints. Let's see. New York Saints. Okay, I have Celestial Sea. I have beach, very summery. I haven't smelled them yet, so I'm gonna do that with you guys. Uh, pipe tobacco. Okay, I have Gabrielle, like for the um, Chanel uh, fra fragrance. I have apple, apple blossom and lavender. I have lavender vanilla. Okay, Mirna, uh, what do you mean uh, a scent tutorial? Like, like a bit more, spe more specific, you know? I can only tell you the way I, I like the smell, you know? Okay, this one is Blackberry Tonka Bean. I think somebody recommended this to me. Mirna, uh, were you the one who recommended this this company to me? I think I think you were, yeah. Okay, this one is leather and lace. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Yes, my favorite. Okay, Versace Man. I have lime basil mandarin, and I have a uh, black opium. Okay, somebody recommended this to me. I don't. I forgot who. I forgot who it was. Okay, so I'm gonna start with black opium. I'm gonna smell it for the first time. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion, guys. Oh my god, this smells just like the uh, the perfume. Black opium is very strong, very uh, very seductive, very. It, 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 it this is what I, this is what I call a, a head turner. When you when you go to someone and you smell this, like, oh my god, what is that? This is make a statement. Very nice. Good one. The next one, lime basil mandarin. Um, it's good, but it's just like the the rest that I have in here. Uh, from the flaming candle of nature's garden, uh, it smells the same. So it's good, but it's not like something like it's unique, you know. So the next one is Versace Man. Let's see. Versace, Versace. I don't like it. No. There's something here that I don't like. I think it's, uh, it, it smells like uh, cheap patchouli or cannabis or something. Hi, Henrietta. Welcome. Um, I'm not, maybe in a candle. I'm going to give it the benefit of a doubt. Uh, but first impression is, uh, I'm not impressed, but I'm going to make a candle out of this. Okay. The next one is leather and lace. These are two ounce bottles. Hi, Monica. Okay. Leather and lace. Here we go, darling. Wow. Yes. Oh my God. 
oh my god this is pure sex that's the only way i can describe it yes pure sex this is amazing guys i'm gonna be making a candle out of this and i'm gonna let you know next sunday <sighs> yes oh my god leather and lace for new york scent it's approved by me yes Making a candle out of this. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Blackberry Tonka Bean. Mirna, do you like this one? Mirna, do you have this one, Mirna? Okay, let's try Blackberry Tonka Bean. Beautiful. I think the, the, whoever did this combination, guys, uh, it hit the jackpot. Uh, the tonka is not as pungent, it's not as strong. Uh, it's beautiful, guys. Very nice. I'm gonna make a candle out of this also. Blackberry tonka bean. I'm gonna put the link uh, below. Once the video streams, I I'm gonna be making uh, putting stuff on the description box. So I'm gonna put all this on the description box. So if you guys uh, want to get them. Uh, I'll put the link down below, okay? Okay, I feel my, my lips kind of dry. I'm gonna try putting on my favorite lip gloss, Boxum Celeste, my favorite. Beautiful. Okay, let me take some water. Hello, Diamond Creations. Diamond Point Creations, welcome to the group. Hello. Okay, the next fragrance oil that I have from New York Sand is Lavender Vanilla. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, guys, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed with this fragrance oil. I have to say, you know, it took me, uh, it took forever for them to ship uh, these oils to me, like three weeks, but it's worth the wait. This is excellent, guys. I'm gonna make a candle out of this. Again, I'm gonna be uh, featuring these candles on the next one this live. So don't forget. Oh my God, this is very nice. It's very high end smelling. I like the lavender. I like the uh, the balance between the lavender and the vanilla. The vanilla is not too too uh, too much. So this is what I like about this. Okay. Uh, the next one, apple blossom and lavender. Let's see. I have a client, not a client. I have a YouTube friend of mine that her daughter likes apple blossom, and my friend she likes lavender. So I decided, you know what? Let me just see how this smells. This smells really, uh, it smells like a Jo Malone scent. It's very delicate, but it's very expensive smelling. Uh, I'm gonna be making a candle out of this. And maybe I'll uh, blend this one with the, I think these two will go great. Lavender vanilla and this apple blossom and lavender. I think I'm gonna try doing that combination. Very interesting, very good. Wow, I'm very impressed. Okay, uh, this one is a uh, Gabrielle Chanel type um, fragrance oil. You know, I love Chanel number no. five, guys. I know it's very potent and not, it's not, it's, I know it's not for everyone, but uh, hi, Melinda, welcome. I know it's not for everyone, uh, but I love Chanel number no. five because I like to make a statement when I walk by and I want people to say, oh my God, what is that? And they say, it's me, yes. Okay, so let's see how Gabrielle smells. Um, it smells like Gabrielle, but it smells all it has like it smells like patchouli also a little bit. Maybe Gabrielle has patchouli on it. Uh, it's very good. It's not my favorite, but it's good. Like I'm not gonna make a candle out of this. So maybe mix with something else. It's good. It'll be good. Okay, I have an obsession with tobacco candles, guys, especially with pipe tobacco. So I saw they had this listed, so I decided to get one, you know, and I got a big size. This is a four ounces, so it better be good because I never tried it before. 
Okay, let's see. Okay, this uh, is, does it smell that, as much as tobacco in? As tobacco, as it doesn't smell, to, blah, 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 blah. Okay. It doesn't smell as strong in your face, tobacco. It's very subtle. It's very good. It's very delicate. It's very expensive. So this will be great uh, as a mixer, you know, with other uh, masculine oils. Maybe this and Versace Man will work out. So I have to see. I'm definitely going to make a candle out of this. I ordered a four ounce bottle. So I. It is what it is. Okay, let me just clean my nostril. Okay. Uh, this one is um, beach. I love this kind of uh, beachy type uh, fragrance oils. It takes me to when I go on vacation to Hawaii. Okay, let's see this one, guys. I better like it because, I, again, I got a big bottle. Okay, this is very nice. Again, uh, it's very simple, but very subtle. It's very beachy. Again, uh, it doesn't have any uh, distinctive notes. It's something that needs to be combined with something else. Um, I wish I would have left, uh, I wish I would have ordered a two ounce bottle instead. You know why I ordered these big bottles, guys? Because I read the description on the company's website and so it is what it is okay a celestial c another bishi type a uh, high high net uh this is new york scent new york scent uh company if from new york city from new york uh yeah so let's see Okay, this is beautiful. Very romantic. This is like when you're walking on the beach at night with a loved one and you smell this beautiful uh, celestial. Yeah, it's very, it's very celestial. It's, I don't know how to put it in notes. It has some kind of citrus, bergamot, I believe. Some kind of wood in it, also sandalwood. And uh, of course, the uh, the ozone from the ocean. Uh, it's beautiful, guys. Again, I wish I would only order a two ounce bottle, but it is what it is. Live and learn. So these are my selections, my uh, opinion on this New York scent oils. I'm gonna be making candles out of these. I'm gonna be reviewing them next Sunday for you guys. Okay, let's see what else I have to show you guys. Um, I think that's it, guys. I think that's all I have for you guys. Do you have any questions? You know, have you made any candles? Any uh, any successes? Any failures? You know, uh, this week I have not made it. This week I have not made uh, any candles. I've been focusing on um, on product photography, so I could bring you this video for you guys today. I think uh, the way I'm run, I'm doing my channel now is like a, I like to make a video, one video a week of of one topic. And I like to discuss the topic further on my Sunday live streams. Uh, if you like this uh, this format, let me know. If you want me to change something, just uh, let me know. Also, just, uh, give me ideas of uh, videos that you want me to make. Also, uh, different topics, different. Uh, yeah. So I would like to help you. I would like to make everybody happy. You know, in yeah, it's very nice uh, for me to bring you this this kind of content. Okay, guys. I have twenty seven guys. Please give me more likes. This is the way my, my channel grows by getting more likes. The more likes I get, the more my channel, the algorithm in YouTube goes out. So more people uh, find me on, on YouTube uh, too. Okay, uh, Queen Anarchy, do, do you like IGI 6006? Uh, uh, I don't like it. I love my the wax that I use. I use a uh, uh, pro, problem, problem. Problem 600 from the flaming candle, uh, even though it is the same kind of wax. I don't know what it is, but I get better HD using that uh, kind of wax than using IGI 6006. Okay, so uh, Nate, uh, Nate D has have used diamonds and pearls from Aztec. 
and Prosecco and raspberries from Woodwick. This smells so good. Uh, how is... Okay, uh, okay, Ned. So I've been practicing with a few fragrance oils from, from the Wooden Week, and to me, they are like a hit or miss. You know, it's like, it's it's kind of uh, weird for me. It's some Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, what wigs do you use for C3? And I don't like using C3. I'm, I'm, I stepped away from using soy wax, 100% uh, soy wax altogether. Um, I think the, uh, try using the either Eco or CD wigs will work better with um, with those kind of uh, that kind of wax. Uh, six thousand and six has seventy percent paraffin. Wow, I thought it was the same as uh, I didn't think I didn't know that. I thought it was like the same as uh, Problem Six Hundred. Problem is like a uh, fifty-two percent soy and forty-eight paraffin. So yeah, good to know. Okay, my favorite wigs that I've been using with a uh, Problem Six Hundred is uh, the Zinc Core wigs. I think they give me the best uh, constant uh, burning. You know, I like the way it burns. It doesn't give me any any kind of uh, black zoot. You know. Uh, uh, so it may, I love it, you know. It's and it gives me a very good uh, HD. Let's see what else. Oh, and by the way, guys, I always use a uh, Vibar 260 on my candles. I think it makes a huge difference in the HD. Uh, I use one teaspoon of Vibar 260 for every pound of wax that I use. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Guys, check out my other channel, Healthy Living with Michael. I'm going to link um, the channel below. Uh, I did an unboxing uh, this week. I did an unboxing of my latest uh, a Louis Vuitton ba bag that I got. So if you want, if you are into Louis Vuitton bags, um, just go check it out, okay? Okay, uh, where have you, uh, the yellow bad wing has, where have you been getting your wigs? CDs, I can't find them uh, or most equals. Well, you know what happened? When I first started make, making candles back on September, I bought all the weeks that I, every week that I could find. So I got, I like, um, I spent a fortune. So I got all, all kinds of weeks. Uh, so because I'm only been doing this on a testing uh, stage, I'm still testing my, my candles. Uh, so I haven't used them all. So I have, all kinds of uh, wigs, so I can experiment. The other, thing, the uh, the only series that I don't have is the uh, there's some kind of series that start with P, Pearl, or uh, I think it's the, a Pearl series or something like that. Anyway, there's some that I haven't been able to uh, to test them. And the HTP wigs, I believe they went. Uh, there, there were uh, like kind of like reformulated with different materials, so I haven't tested those again. So you know because I haven't been able to find them. So premiere, thank you, thank you, Nate. Yes, premiere, uh, premiere weeks. Also, I've been trying to get them and they're out of stock. So yeah. Okay, Charlene. So you, you poured your first candle last week. Congratulations. Uh, if you're using soy wax, you're gonna have to wait for two weeks, I believe, to cure. HTP wigs. Uh, okay, Queen, can you tell me the best website to get the HTP wigs? Did you get you? Because I haven't been able to find them really, so I mean, it would love. Okay, uh, so Aztec. So I'm gonna try, let me just make a note of that. So I'm gonna go to Aztec and see. Okay, we... so HTP. Okay, and Fillmore container also.
Okay, guys, uh, I, I saw a few postings on, on Facebook groups about people having trouble with, from Aztec on their shipping and their customer service. So that kind of like uh, turned me off about using Aztec as, as a supplier. Have you guys had any, any, any comments about it? Any issues with them? Okay, Marina, take care. I'll see you next Sunday. Okay, so California candle supply also. Okay, so I'm gonna go check them out. Okay, so any any other fragrance, uh, so uh, candle supplies that you would like me to try? Okay, so Monica says she has not have any uh, issues with Aztec. Yeah. I have to say, I have, I've never had any issues with any any kind of company so far. You know, it's the only problem. It's not really a problem. It's uh, during the holiday season. It's tough to forever to to ship. You know, but I was thinking, you know, due to the pandemic, you know, and the holiday season, I I you know I can understand that happening. So, okay, Melinda. So you try them, and um, okay. So, okay, guys, tell me, which are your favorite fragrance oils from Aztec? So I'm going to make a, I'm, I'm going to make a, 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 a howl, we call it. So tell me which fragrance you want me to get from Aztec so I can test them for you. Yes. Let's see. Oh, yes. This, uh, I think, uh, uh, Cheryl, okay. So I see what you're talking about. I know some people left a bad review and they didn't like that. That's why it, all this thing uh, came about. Okay, so Queen Anarchy Studio Fragrance. Okay, let me try Studio Fragrance. I think I bought some stuff from them. Okay, so Brazilian Coffee. And cream brulee, okay. Okay, and you know, and you know, I'm not into baking scents, but for you, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna order that. Okay, diamonds and pearls. And white peach hibiscus. Mmm. Okay, Melinda says, Sunny Beaches. Lavender Lemon. And Bahama Fizz, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try all these. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna go into uh, into Aztec uh, website um, from Studio Fragrances. Let's see who's the one who told me this. From Studio Fragrance, Fragrances, which uh, scent would you recommend? From Studio Fragrances, which scent? Because I'm gonna do that this uh, this evening. I'm gonna place an order. And guys, also, you know what? I wanna ask you all, guys. Okay, tell me which is the sexiest fragrance uh, oil that you ever try, and from which company? Because I wanna make a sexy uh, candle. So, can you tell me which one are your favorite ones? Because you know me, guys. It's all about my candle romance. So, yes, come on, likes. More likes, more likes, please. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you, Lily. So they have a sale in the beginning of the month. Okay, Aztec has a sale, okay. So I'm going to wait for until April 1st, okay, to make this order. So let's see. Very Okay, very sexy man from Aztec.
Okay. White tea and sage. Magnolia and peony, I don't like that. White tea and peach bo uh, blossom. Okay. Okay, I think that's... Okay, so every month, at the beginning of the month, you get a sale. Okay, the yellow bat, but we said bad boy from General Wax. I love the name, bad boy, yes. It's called uh, General Wax. Is that the name of the store? Okay, so now uh, Net D says they have a they have the sale every month. So you use the marks the marks coupon, then order five more on April first. Okay, I see. And where do I get the coupon? It's a coupon on the website. Okay, Melinda says she was she was on Aztec yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna go today. I'm gonna uh, see if I can make an order from this. Okay, and they have a call on the, on, on the homepage. Okay, great. Okay, guys, you see, I love having you guys talk to me today. I love having you guys, you know, sharing your information. This way, we can just help each other. You know, it's yeah. Okay, guys, so I think I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is my husband's birthday, so but I bought a few presents for him, and I, I want to give him. He went uh, to get some stuff. I want to give him his presents today. So because I bought him a, a beautiful watch, so if he needs to get adjusted, I want to go to Nordstrom and get it adjusted. Okay. Okay, guys. So yeah, thank you for coming, guys. Again, let me show you my outfit for those of you that didn't see it yet. Yes, I'm wearing my sexy pants, my Gucci belt. You like my nails that I just made? I made them blue for you guys. And you know me, guys. I'm queen forever. Yes. Okay, guys. So be well. Have a great week. And have a great also, uh, for the rest of the Sunday. And I'll see you on the next one. Okay? Bye. Yes. Yes.